Hello, it's Gem Games, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a simple camera that you can view through when colliding with a trigger box. So yeah, let's get started. So first, let's go to the, let's create the camera. Yeah, I'll just duplicate this. Just make like a little, like this. Now, let's add the camera. Mm, camera actor. Yeah. Let's move it to here. Okay, I think this is pretty much okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's add the trigger box. Yes, move it to here. Make it a little bit bigger, like maybe this, and wider, and taller, also. Yeah, that's pretty much fine for me. So now let's click the camera and let's open the level blueprint. Now, when I right click, I have this here. Yeah, let's create the now let's go back and click the trigger box. Okay, I will come here. Trigger box. Yeah. Now let's go back to here. Now let's create three frames also. So yeah. Now let's create a begin play. And let's get from the trigger box. Uh, begin overlap. Sign on actor, begin overlap, like this. And also, find on event, find on event, and over, yep, like this. Now let's create a event also from this. Okay. Custom event. Yeah, let's call it end overlap. Yeah, that's okay. Now I'll just move this a little bit here just to make it look a little bit better. Okay, it doesn't look good, but it works. Now let's create uh, this event. First, we have to cast to third, third, cast to th third person character, like this. So let's copy this and paste it here. Yes. Now, let's view. Ah, no, no, no. Blend. Camera, set view target with blend. This one, <coughs> yes, and let's connect this to here. And from the target, let's get the player control like this. Okay, okay. now let's copy this. Here, and we can just like connect this here, yeah, and also this to here, target. Okay, now let's try if it works. Yeah, yeah, it's all working, and you can change the length time stuff like that if you want like if I put one here look like this changes so yeah thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye